That's crazy to me. Yerk. Be back. Oh. <laughs> back with a video. Top 10 underappreciated action packed mystery anime you need to watch. Oh my, oh my, yes! I'm sorry, I had to let that out too. Alright, go ahead, do your thing. Go ahead, go ahead do your thing. By Vinny too, so make sure y'all make sure y'all like like their video. Yeah. Like our video. You see yeah. that? Yeah. Do that. Mm -hmm. Don't unlike. Just like it. Yeah. It'll say, I like this. Make sure you do yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then go go subscribe like mm -hmm. to ours and theirs. Yeah. Both both channels. Make sure you do that, yeah. And by ours, I mean like our individual channels. Mm, I guess that works, yeah. We, yeah, we got individual channels, like, mm. yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah, that'll do, yeah. yeah. I like that. Let's get, get into it. it. <laughs> that was a good execution. Mystery and action are probably yeah, two genres titles, that need... seem to work so seamlessly with well, one another. So for today, we'll be talking about what I personally list. consider to be some of the most underappreciated of the mystery action genre that anime has to offer. Now, I've already done a video about mystery thrillers before, but I think a key difference this genre has is its more pronounced focus on actions. Fight scenes, mm. chase scenes, and mm. other heart-pounding scenes yeah. often take precedence when a mystery, oftentimes something related to the origin of the world or the subject matter in question, hangs in the background. A lot of mm. the most thrilling detectives serials fall into this category and it's no surprise that mystery and action together have found their way into anime what's surprising to me however is that a sizable portion of viewers are still not subscribed to this channel that's why i'd love to encourage you to hit yeah. that subscribe well, and like that. button and help my that. channel grow that's it only I'm takes a second that. and would do order. so much for the yeah. channel Ninth on the list is Blast of Tempest. Losing a loved one is never easy. When Aika, Yoshino's girlfriend, dies, her brother and Yoshino's best friend Mahiro disappears. The latter would disappear and only re-emerge to save Yoshino from a strange girl who has him at gunpoint. Mahiro has returned a changed man, having enlisted the help of the witch Hakaze to find Aika's killer and deal with the Tree of Exodus, a gigantic tree that grants people magic and holds the key to the destruction of the world. A supernatural action series from late 2012, <laughs> Blast of Tempest was probably one of my favorite bone shows from that era. It keeps you seated and wanting more with its plot, and I really enjoyed the story due to having okay. quite the passing okay. interest in classic literature. Yes, Blast of Tempest is that it draws a lot from literary works, specifically The Tempest and Hamlet. Those plays tie in nicely with the show's themes that focus on escaping the chains of the past. Up next is a more apocalyptic take on the genre, Wolf's Rain. Wolf's Rain takes yeah. us to a world on the edge of ruin. Thanks to humanity's greed and pride, the once glorious home planet has been reduced to a handful of cities scattered across a barren wilderness. However, hope remains in the forms of an ancient prophecy that tells of wolves finding their way to the mystical realm known as Paradise. The problem is that no one has seen a wolf for ages. The truth is that wolves have learned to disguise themselves in the form of men, existing within society to protect themselves. Wolf's Rain tells us the story of one such wolf, Kiba, and his companion Right. who set off on a journey to the promised <laughs> land. Man, However, Eva? danger lurks at every corner, okay. as it's not just they who want to reach paradise. Coming from Cowboy Bebop screenwriter, okay. Wolf's Rain is a sense. gorgeous looking adventure series that should really be talked about more. I guess the problem lies in the actual production itself here. That's because Wolf's Rain had a pretty troubled production thanks to an ongoing disease outbreak almost two decades ago. Guess history repeats itself, disease doesn't it, outbreak. unfortunately? That's why you should take the time to watch the OVAs <laughs> that conclude the story if this series interests you. He is a Chinese anime for a change, and it's one of the most popular ones out there. Moldao Zushi is one of the excellent Chinese novel adaptations that combine action and Asian mysticism. 13 years before the start of the story, Wei strayed down the path of evil and unleashed destruction. His reign of terror would be put to a stop, but he reincarnates in the present day and reunites with his former classmate Lang Wangji. The two then move to uncover the truth through a dark energy and a supernatural mystery that begins plaguing the numerous clans. Thanks to its intriguing plot and excellent art, the series received much critical acclaim. However, still so little talk about it. It certainly felt so underrated given the reception when it was first being released. If you happen to enjoy Modao Zushi, you can enjoy the story in its numerous other I'm adaptations, such as the webcomic or the drama. I don't think I'd watch it. <laughs> Oh, 
ここが世界の中心なのこんな感じで今日は終わります。In. How does this all connect to Careless Monday? You're gonna have to watch the show to find out. It's the second mystery action anime featuring death games and cell phones, and I think that Eden of the East, compared to Darwin's game, leans more on the mystery side of things. With each episode, you get the urge to want more with every episode, thanks to how the suspense gets built up. In its time, 2009, it's also very novel as an idea, and I think that it still holds true to a lesser extent now. Halfway into the list is Land of the Lustrous. In the future, crystalline life forms called gems inhabit a mysterious world where they must find the Lunarians, a species that kidnaps them and turns them into jewelry. Foss, one of the gems, longs to join the battle, but thanks to their condition, is forcibly relegated into the furthest job from such a desire a historian. Being assigned to compile the history of the world is a mundane and pointless task for a lot of them, but the new job sends Foss into contact with Cinnabar. Seeing the mutual unhappiness in Cinnabar, Foss decides to help the fellow gem find a Role for them to enjoy. What adventures await the duo? Land of the Lustrous for me shines in its handling of its world. It's set in a very fantastical world with very interesting you know, residents that you can't help but want to know about. It's got some action seen. blended into the very meaningful plot, and despite lacking initial hype, it's one of the best mystery action anime out there. Seriously, people need to appreciate this one a lot more. At number four is Gleipnir. <laughs> If you're still up for more death games, how about another one? Spring 2020 sleeper hit Gleipnir. Shuichi may seem to be your ordinary student, but he just gets the ability to turn into a fursuit monster. He doesn't know how he got the powers, nor does he want anything to do with them. However, an encounter with Claire exposes his secret and lets him know Claire's secret of her own. Claire's been long looking for her sister, who also turned into a monster. Together, the two form an unlikely duo out to search for the truth behind monsters, Claire's sister, <laughs> and the Shuichi's well, powers. Say, Aliens, nah, otherworldly okay. abominations, like, transforming <laughs> like, people, okay. everything Please. goes in this grim and deadly mystery. For a lot of you who haven't watched the anime, your exposure to Gleipnir probably came from videos animation. talking about like, its amazingly it animated fight scenes. However, if you go beyond the fights, I think that the plot is very intriguing and seeing the character dynamics in play make Gleipnir a winner in my book. It may seem like an edge fest, but it's actually a lot more profound than it seems to be at first. Watch it. Third place for the list is Arjin. 17 years prior, mysterious humans known as Arjin made their presence felt in Africa. Since then, they've been classified as a top level threat, and the world has mobilized to eradicate them or take them into custody. The world has been kept free of them to the point where aspiring doctor Kei Nagai knew little of them when he survives an accident and is reborn as one of them. Now, with a target on his back, Kei finds himself on the run as he looks to uncover the truth behind these super creatures, slowly realizing that maybe the real monsters aren't as far away from humanity as he once thought. I've made it clear in some of my previous videos that when it comes to action-packed thrillers that have an air of mystery, Arjin is one of my favorite anime of all time. The CG might take a bit of time to get used to, but don't be deterred by that. After all, you'd be missing out on one of 2016's hits that skillfully combined action, suspense, unraveling twists, and a rather profound take on humanity's nature. Who 
says that we're done with literature references. Blast of Tempest had some callbacks to a literary work, but how about an entire series focused on actual authors of your favorite literary masterpieces? Oh, and give them cool powers to boot. Due to incidents involving a tiger, Atsushi finds himself kicked out of his orphanage and left a vagabond in the streets of Japan. His seemingly mundane life comes to an end when he saves supernatural detective Osamu Dazai from drowning. The detective's investigation on the tiger puts Atsushi in quite the bind, and the latter finds himself forcibly pulled into the world of supernatural investigations and battles. Combining the aesthetics of the early 1900s, due to incidents involving a tiger, Atsushi finds himself kicked out of his right safe here. Where in Japan is this? Because there's so many anime that I see with this exact same location. Like, where? I need to, I need to see it in real life. Man. I've seen Bleach, Zatch Bell. I can't think of them all right now, but like every everyone that takes place in like a, a school or like this 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 one area, I see this everywhere. Where uh -huh. is this? I need to find this place. Mm. I need to find this place. You trying to go to Japan? I kind of do, just to see this place. Right, we can go next year. Or something. It's probably Kyoto or like one of them big cities that are like that that look like this. But like I I don't know. I they probably say it in the anime too. Now I'm thinking about it, but I need I need to see it. If it's based, cause I I've seen it too much to not have experienced it in real life. Japan on the list. I need to see a lot too. Hey, hey, like, we'll figure that out then. But I need to go there. My hero. I have seen this in my hero too. I don't remember none of that. But, but. Cause there was in the city, in that episode where where, it might not have been my hero, but it felt like you know. It felt like it. I know at least I, two. I, I, I can't help you. I know at least two. Supernatural detective Osamu Dazai yeah, from drowning. The detective's like, investigation on the tiger puts Atsushi in quite the bind, and the latter finds himself forcibly pulled into the world of supernatural investigations and battles. Combining the aesthetics of the early 1900s with the modern Japan setting ended up being a good call, and I found myself thoroughly immersed in the story thanks to the cool developments and the powers. I'm not sure if I really consider oh, Bungo yeah, Stray Dogs yeah, to be underappreciated yeah, because it does have a fan base. However, for how great it is, I thought that this would have been the next big thing. So if you're up for some urban action fantasy, I heartily recommend this show to you. The number one underappreciated mystery action anime for this list is Garden of Sinners. heard of this one before? Constantly a Type Moon fan favorite, Garden of Sinners is a series of movies chronicling a string of baffling suicides in Japan. To investigate the events, a detective agency dispatches the dynamic duo of Mikia Kokuto and Shiki Ryogi. A contrasting duo of a normal boy and girl wielding the mystic eyes of death, they have their work cut out for them. Watch as the two of them work to get to the bottom of the mysterious suicides that have ravaged the country. Garden of Sinners prides itself in its unorthodox watch order and the numerous layers that can be peeled from its story it could be a I got a theory for this show. Said a theory a theory so this is who the government sent in okay before yeah. l you was thinking it too you was thinking I'm it not too thinking nothing, nothing. Yeah, they sent in they sent in those two before l and then that one knows a little something about the death note that's why they think it's that's in them in because he got the shinigami eyes see head cannon i haven't even watched it yet and i already know I already know. Hey, y'all drinking y'all water. Make sure y'all drinking y'all water. I watch Death Note. It's a good ass anime too. It's good for you. Both of them. Underappreciated. I guess that's why uh that's why Psychopath wasn't on here. I watched like one episode of that. I, don't know. I like it. It was, it was a good mystery. Both seasons had me confused until the end. I had no clue what the fuck like, was going happening? on. I was like, yo. Let's finish up. And a paranormal right investigation story, but it could also be interpreted as people coming to terms with life and death. It's not an easy watch, being dark and twisted a lot of times, but in terms of considering anime as a profound piece of philosophy and art, Garden of Sinners is probably one of the best this. bets to support this point. I'd want to, but I don't think I'd watch it all. No, I gotta binge it. It's hella dark. Yeah, I'm that's like a for fans of the mystery like action movie. genre, yeah, these are the shows you may have missed wow. and may want to keep an eye out for. For those who've already watched the shows, this which ones are your favorites? Please don't hesitate to tell me. Also, if you've had fun with the video, I'd like you to also check out my Patreon. I'll be leaving a link in the description box below and you can follow the link and start supporting this channel. That dumbass, uh, the, the Gaffney beast he turned into.
I say Gafnir? Is it Ginfir? Gnifnir? Gnafnir? I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't even remember the title, so I, there's no way I, I was just keep going. For I was the like, joke. you're just gonna do it. Like, it was for the joke. It was for the joke. Bro, it's whatever, bro. It's whatever, bro. But hey, that was the top ten unappreciated action-packed mystery anime you need to watch. Yeah, I'm gonna watch a couple of those. I'm gonna watch about five. I'm gonna watch a couple of those. Mm-hmm. If I say I watch five, I'm probably only gonna watch two. Yeah, exactly. To be honest, like, like, that's I'm why I started cut, off. I'm like, gonna cut three out eventually because I'm like, I really don't gotta watch that. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I'm gonna watch it again, and I'm gonna watch. It. I'm like, shit, I should have watched that. Yeah, 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 pretty much. That's how it goes. It's always that way. That's how it goes. At least for me. They understand. Like, they've done it before. Like, they, 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 the anime fans, they watch it. They hear so. Alright, so make sure y'all like the video. Go subscribe to VinnyTube. Like my video. Go subscribe. Go over here. Like his video. It don't even gotta be this video. It could be any video of his. Subscribe. Subscribe. Y'all gonna be subscribing. I've been seeing people on YouTube with ninety percent sub- like no like viewer rate that's they not subscribing. It's like y'all. What's ours? Let me see. Yo, that's crazy. Like it's so disrespectful. Y'all are disrespectful. That's crazy. That's crazy. This link gonna be in the description. Make sure they do that. I'm Diesel. Yeah, you really good. Um, mm, mm, that's a lot. Like fifty percent. That's that's a lot. We need to get that down to like twenty percent, like fifty percent. Because if you're watching, consistently like, watching videos, bro, you gotta subscribe. Come on, you gotta subscribe. Good shit. <laughs> we out. <laughs>